Hi, my name is Paul Lindbergh. I'm a gastroenterologist at Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota. I wanted to mention a few things about colon cancer screening. Colon cancer screening is highly effective, and fortunately, there are many options. It's important to remember that choosing the right test for you is the most appropriate strategy. The best colon cancer screening test is the one that actually gets done. Some of the options include simple stool tests like fecal occult blood testing or fecal immunochemical testing, which are slightly different in terms of how the assay tests are performed. These typically involve just collecting a stool sample, oftentimes at home, that can be mailed in. But it does require compliance with a year-after-year -year program and follow-up with diagnostic testing if the screening test is positive. Colonoscopy is another widely used colon cancer screening approach. It is the most invasive option, and it also requires a bowel preparation, which some patients find challenging. At the time of colonoscopy, it's important to plan for uh, the preparation, for transportation to and from the examination because of the sedation that's typically used. Um, patients are advised not to drive themselves home after the procedure. And then how this test fits in with uh, your overall work schedule and daily living schedule. Um, it's an excellent test. It also allows the uh, physician to remove polyps at the time of the screening exam. It's the only test where that's an option. And sometimes the interval between screening colonoscopies can be up to 10 years, depending on the findings uh, at the time of the procedure. Newer tests, um, there's a DNA stool test called Cologuard. With Cologuard, uh, like with uh, non-colonoscopy-based screening tests, if there is a positive result, suggesting a polyp or another lesion, then a diagnostic test, usually colonoscopy, would be recommended. There are other tests that have been around for a long time. Flexible sigmoidoscopy, which sees about half of the colon and rectum. Barium enema, which is a radiology or x-ray test, which is uh, not as used as widely anymore. And then a test called CT colonography or virtual colonoscopy, another x-ray test. These can all find polyps. They all have their place in screening. They may be right for some patients. Um, and it's important to understand what the advantages and potential downsides are for each of these uh, as you decide which test is right for you. Just to repeat, the best test for colon cancer screening is the one that gets done, but make sure it gets done in a way that has quality, that works for you, and that provides the best result, which is to reduce the overall incidence and mortality from colon cancer.